12 scientifically proven ways to attract the man you truly desire. Hey, it's Erin, your personal love expert from the site where we make men make sense, Vixen Daily. So you probably have no issue knowing how to attract men that you want and, you know, being able to flirt with guys. But there always is that one guy, right? There's that one guy that you really want to get who just doesn't seem to be attracted to you no matter what. And you don't know exactly what to do and how to get him. So you will probably have zero problem attracting all sorts of guys, like the creepy stalkers, the boring ones, etc., etc. But the problem is most relationship advice for women doesn't really cover how to make your love life so much easier and attract the men that you really do want in a scientific fashion. So if you want to know what's been scientifically proven to powerfully attract the guy you really do want, then comment right below right now and say, yes, show me how. So do not worry at all. This is a very common situation and I am going to ask for one small favor before we begin. So if you like this video, if you like any of my videos, if you like anything about me, if you like what I'm wearing, if you like love advice, please leave me a like, a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a share, subscribe, tell people about it. The internet is full of so many lies. So as an honest relationship coach for women, I have to say that I'm actually giving you the advice that really works. So what do men find attractive? Well, the first thing is kindness being caring. So what men think is attractive is kindness. According to the Huffington Post, a 2010 study actually found that kindness could influence the body type a person found attractive. So a group of 2000 males were surveyed and they were showed a photo of a diverse group of women. And they actually agreed on a very narrow definition of body attractiveness. However, in a second experiment, when given positive personality traits, right? So information about the women in the photographs, a far greater variety of body types were deemed attractive by the group. So what does that mean? It means that when told the personality included traits like kindness, the body types that they didn't necessarily identify as attractive suddenly were. So, in other words, men experience kind women as more attractive. Number two, how to be irresistible to men will have a young soul. So part of cracking the man code is actually being silly and having fun. So it's not about age. Most women assume men want younger women, but it is absolutely not about age. It is about the spirit and the vibe behind who you are. You can be old or young and be too stuffy and just seem old in spirit. So psychologically speaking, right? You can keep things light and funny and doing so shifts a man into a more open, receptive and agreeable frame of mind. In fact, you'll notice that in sales, people know the psychology, which is actually why they like to mix in youthful light, fun energy to always make the sale happen. Politicians do this too. Have you ever noticed great political candidates? In fact, who are in their mid seventies and they can still have a vibrant charm that feels youthful and light. So you can use this exact persuasion psychology to your advantage to have a better love life. Number three, having high self-esteem. So how to attract a man and keep him? Work on your self-esteem and being your best self. So according to research, being confident actually makes you come off as a selectable mate. So men are biologically attracted to women who they think are good mates. So it is absolutely worth being confident in order to present this image to him. So it makes absolute sense that having good self-esteem would actually be a biological advantage when thinking about how to get the guy because confidence and self-esteem is largely about what you're not doing. You're not afraid, you're not sad, you're not anxious, for example. So you're basically not running up a bunch of emotional energy feeling bad about yourself. From a biological perspective, it's a disadvantage to waste tons of energy, especially when it kills your mood and your happiness. So having good self-esteem does not need to be something difficult or complicated. In fact, just decide right now, right here to be absolutely okay with yourself. That does not mean you don't have goals or things you'd like to improve upon. Of course you do, that's fine. But for now, for where you are right now, you are absolutely okay with yourself. And it's as simple as that. When you do that, you'll actually come off as having absolutely good self-esteem to other people. And all you have to do is be okay with yourself right now. So the next thing, number four, 
is your body being healthy? So what guys find attractive is being healthy. I mean, men are fond of curves and different body types, but the physical is not the only important thing, but it is definitely a factor. So your best bet is to pick flattering outfits that show off your figure in a way that you feel good in. So the reason why things like makeup, shapewear, and hair extensions actually look attractive is because they all give the appearance of health indicators. What does this mean? This is based on evolutionary biology since the healthiest women would be the most likely to create healthy babies. And so men are actually wired to look for indicators that show a woman is healthy. Number five, what men find attractive is women who are genuinely interested and curious about the guy. So what does this mean? Listen to what he has to say, be present in conversation, you know, engage with him. A study in the Journal of Social and Clinical Psychology looked at the way in which curiosity actually promotes intimacy. So what did the research find? It found that people perceive individuals who are curious as more attractive and feel closer to the individuals after even just one conversation. So, I want to say something, by the way, if you like this so far, please give me a like so I do know to give more tips like this. And now on to number six. What men find irresistible is being in a good mood. Men do not like negative women who are angry. In fact, being happy and in a good mood is absolutely attractive to men. So there have been numerous studies that show how a mood can actually improve your health, self-esteem, and even your ability to empathize with others. Studies have also shown how a bad mood can push people away by diminishing our abilities to probably empathize with others and see our relationship clearly. A recent study published in Psychophysiology talks about how our brain's ability to experience emotional resonance is important. So what does this mean? It is basically our ability to feel another person's emotions. So if we have an interference with our brain's ability to experience that, it means that we will not have the ability to emotionally engage with people in a way that feels good to them. In simple terms, when you're in a bad mood, it ruins your ability to have good vibes with your partner. That's all that it means. So if you're going through tough times in your relationship, it can be difficult to just be in a good mood as if it were flipping on a light switch, obviously. But here is a trick. Psychologists have actually found that if you focus on being grateful and take the time to journal things that you find you know are things you love and appreciate and are grateful for in your life that you improve your mood and your happiness will naturally follow so it takes practice but it is absolutely worth it so this is actually why so many people practice starting their day by writing a gratitude journal so let me know if you think that this is a good idea and if it is something you'd like to try it i would also love for you to write in the comment section what are you grateful for is there anything you are specifically grateful for and start practicing this now so it's really ingrained in you so if you're in a bad mood what should you do you should take space for yourself and do your absolute best to avoid interacting with your partner that's all you have to do so if they're in a bad mood give them space as well to get you know it out of their system before trying to interact with them and you will actually avoid so many problems number seven truthfulness what men want and what makes a man like you is truthfulness being honest is a very attractive trait and people want to be with someone they can trust. Honesty means holding on to one's integrity, beliefs, principles, actions, and intentions. Psychologist F.W. Schneider said it simply, how honest people are with their partners appears to impact the longevity of the relationship. In other words, the more comfortable you are with being honest with your partner, the better chances you'll have a relationship that really lasts. Number eight, being happy and showing it in your face. Smiling is attractive because it gives off the energy that you are healthy and in a good mental state. It is biologically wired in our DNA to be attracted to people who are good mates, who are mentally able to handle life, and that makes it attractive. Number nine, your mind. Do you think men like smart women or are they intimidated? Let me know in the comment section. A recent paper in the Journal of Personality and Individual Differences found that both men and women actually preferred partners that are at least as attractive as them, if not more. There has been confusion about this in recent years with some articles suggesting that men don't like smart women, but the problem with these studies is this, that it actually is not about the women being smart because the smart women actually outcompeted men on the intelligence tests, which had a negative effect on the man. See, the issue wasn't that she was more intelligent than him. The issue was that the study engineered a situation in which the man was in competition with a woman, right? There's a massive difference. So the 
real lesson here is there's nothing wrong with being smarter. And in fact, men love a woman who is intelligent. What matters is that you're not looking to compete against the woman that they're with and nobody likes to lose. Number 10, being unique. Accept yourself. Don't try to change the quirks to make you unique because being unique simply means that you have an independent mentality. A mistake people make is feeling like they need to change in order to keep the person they're with interested in them. Unfortunately, this takes energy and sooner or later, you're going to get burned out and it's not an approach that works in the long term. So what do you do? You accept yourself and you accept who you are. Quoting a Psychology Today article from a few years back, the key is acceptance. So love your partner because not in spite of those quirks and traits that make each one of us unique. So accepting ourselves for those quirks and traits that make each one of us unique can actually facilitate our ability to accept our partners. Often we actually criticize traits in others that reflect dislike traits in ourselves. So practicing self-compassion can ultimately enhance our relationships with others, especially our romantic partners. So number 11, be open-minded. If you agree with this, let me know in the comment section and do share with this awesome community. So men like women who are understanding because it shows she's a good mother, which goes back to biology and evolutionary psychology. Plus, it's an absolutely great trait to have if you want a love that stands the test of time. You and your partner may change or want to try new things as the years go on. And as a good partner, you want to be able to support them with an open mind. And finally, number 12, support his drive. Other people might call it his mission or his purpose. When you look at gender psychology, men are biologically wired toward competition and accomplishment. In simple terms, all this means is, is that for men, winning matters. It matters a lot. So when you support a man's drive, you're supporting his ability to win in the world. You're supporting him in a way that it is deeply meaningful to him. So in fact, biologically speaking, I'm convinced that this is one of the reasons why men and women are meant to be together as a couple. So women are excellent at navigating the emotional world and knowing how to nurture and support others. Whereas for a man, it has a hugely powerful effect when he feels you nurture and support his drive and his ability to win. How do you do this? Well, just pay close attention to what builds him up and see what deflates him. What makes him excited? What makes him motivated, pumped up to win? What makes him driven? Pay attention to those things and encourage him to do them. You also want to point out how they make him stronger and better. And you want to encourage him to be the best man he can be because he will be happier as that man. And you'll want to be aware of what deflates him and shuts him down so that you can help shield him from those things and help keep him at his strongest. Now, the best way to know what really reaches his heart and makes him want to commit to you and only you forever is going to be something that you need to watch my video, what men really want to learn. So if you want to learn what makes a man fall and stay in love with you so you can get the love life you really want, go watch the video, what men really want. If you like this video and you think your friends will like it, please share it far and wide. I would absolutely love that. Oh, and remember to subscribe because I'm actually going to be doing more videos telling you what really attracts men and how to have the love life you really want. And if you have any questions about anything I said, leave me a comment. And if you liked anything in this video, let me know. Let me know things that have worked great for you and your love life. Let me know what you've experienced with men, love, and devotion. And you will see I absolutely love responding to your comments and hearing your feedback. Also, final thing, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do a relationship advice or dating video on next because I absolutely will and I will see you next time.